Okay, and your question from uh, Hi J, you uh, you asked me, um, uh, you 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 just you, you wrote like two sentences, and another one, You just insert the word, uh, รู้สึก รู้สึก, รู้สึก, yeah? Ru is like uh, this one is a bit longer. Ru, uh, that is ru sec. No, no, it's supposed to be like ru sec. Ru sec. How to how do I spell ru sec? Okay, just spell like you. I, I don't I don't know. Ru sec sec sec. Something like that. Pom may sabai or pom ru sec may sabai. Meaning you know pom is I for male. My is no or no or not can be both, but how can we know whether it's no or not? So we have to see the context. In this case, in this case, this means not. Pom my sabai sabai is fine, sabai is fine, it's okay. So, uh, but actually sabai we have many meanings. So, but in this case, it means fine. For my sabai, meaning I'm not fine, meaning I'm sick. I'm not fine, meaning I'm not, I'm sick. Uh huh. But rusik, rusik is feeling. I feel like I feel like my sabai. I feel rusik my sabai. I feel not fine. I feel not good. I feel like I feel not good. Mm hmm. For rusik my sabai, rusik means uh rusik means feeling like feel. I feel, I I I feel not good. I feel not good. Something like that. I feel not fine. But actually, if you want to make it more natural, you're supposed to say like, Ah, pom rusuk, may koi sabai, may koi sabai, um, may koi sabai. It's like you are going to say that I, I don't feel very well. Uh, this is like I, I'm not going to translate like exactly the same but the whole thing this sentence it can uh, I can translate it into like um, like uh, to make it more sense like I, I don't feel like good I feel like not very good it's like you're not sure about that it's like you're going to get sick or you are like you know you're like 50 50 okay or not okay uh, I thought Rusik is just an adverb uh, yes Rusik like feel Rusik uh no, rusik is verb, yeah. Rusik, but my koi, my koi, my is not, yeah. But koi is like together with my koi, my koi is one word. From rusik, my koi sabai. I don't feel very good. I I I think I cannot do a like direct translation like exactly the same because it's not going to make sense. So I'm going to give you a translation in like overall for the whole sentence. In whatever languages that you want to learn, I suggest you don't go for like direct translation. Uh, sometimes you can get like okay, you know this word, you know this word, but sometimes when they are together in one sentence, they may change meaning. So, uh, you have to uh, understand this point also. Pom rusuk, make koi sabai. Make koi sabai is like, make koi is like, um, it's like not, um, not quite well. Not quite, not quite. Make koi is like not quite. Make koi di, not, not quite good. Not quite good. Uh, di is like good, yeah. Pom rusuk, make koi sabai. I feel, I, I don't. Okay, I don't feel quite well. I don't feel quite well. I think this is the best uh, translation for this sentence. Pom rusuk may koi sabai. Or another one should be like something like, um, I feel like I'm gonna get sick. Mm -hmm. Something like that. This is like exact meaning. I mean, not exact translation, but exact meaning. Mm -hmm. I think you, you uh, I think you understand what I mean. Uh, I mean, don't go like word by word, word by word. Don't translate like that because it's not gonna make sense for sure. Yeah, is it okay? Na yok mai sabai. Oh, very good man, Mister Chia. Okay, flat pen mai. Right, it's clear. Yeah. So this is uh, you ask, I answer. Oh, I don't feel quite. I don't feel quite well. And don't forget any time that you want to say any languages, don't forget your face expression because people will understand your body language more than the word that you are saying.
Okay. You are. I am. Oh yeah. Power.